This is a hardware overview of a one channel Pro XR Lite relay controller with a KFX key fob receiver communication module installed. We have many different modules available including USB, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Ethernet and others. But this controller has got the key fob receiver installed. This allows any of these remotes to send commands to control the onboard relay. This particular relay is a 20 amp a single pole double throw relay which means it can switch some pretty high power loads and this is particularly useful if you need to control something large from a remote wireless relay uh, from a remote wireless controller so um, first first of all we've got uh, in in this row here we've got several different remotes any of these remotes can be used to control this relay um, the big thing about these remotes is that they have a 750 foot range because they have a, a small integrated antenna. This remote has got a thousand foot range because it's got a larger external antenna. Now I've tested the range on this and it really does go 750 feet or more and this larger remote really will go over a thousand feet. Um, but the ratings are for 750 and 1,000 feet, but I have had extremely good luck in line of sight applications. So uh, as, as far as the KFX module goes, it's also important to understand that each of these remotes are all going to do exactly the same thing. It's not possible to configure each remote to do a different function. So uh no matter you know you won't be able to say this remote does one thing and this remote does another thing um, also it's important to understand that every button on here generates two events uh, for instance when i push a button i generate an event and when i release a button i generate another event and you can use these events to send different commands to the relay board uh, and let's take a look at some of these events so that you get an idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, in this controller, for, for this remote, whenever I press button 1, it turns on the relay. Press button 2, it turns off the relay. Press button 3, and it's configured for momentary. So when I push it, the on relay command is sent, and whenever I release the button, the off command is sent. Now keep in mind, the KFX module is a computer all in its own, and it sends commands to the relay board, which is also a computer all on its own. So you can configure the KFX module to do anything you want, so any button can be configured for anything you want. Um, button 4 is a simple toggle command. Every time I push the button, a toggle uh, command is sent to the controller to toggle the state of the relay. Button 5 is configured to activate the relay for five seconds and after five seconds the relay will automatically shut off. Button six is a, a flash relay momentary function so as long as I hold button six the relay will flash on and off and when I release it it will stop flashing. Button seven is configured to flash the relay for seven seconds. After seven seconds is elapsed the relay will turn off. Button 8 is just also set as a momentary button, but you can configure button 8 to do anything you want. In fact, any of these buttons can be configured to send any command you want uh, using our base station software. So to uh, get started with configuration of the KFX module, we first have to remove the KFX module uh, from this controller, and, and then, we can, um, then we can configure the settings. So let's start by removing the KFX module from the controller. Okay, the first thing we want to do is install the KFX module into the Zigbo configuration adapter. So we just plug it in like that, the light comes on, and we are ready to run Base Station. So here, let me bring Base Station into view. Um, Base Station is the software that we use for just about everything. Uh, you can use it to control relays on a ProXR board, or in this case, though, we're going to use it to configure the KFX module to send commands to the ProXR controller to do whatever it is we want to do. 
So I open up the KFX series control panel and the, the software begins reading all the settings out of the controller. And here we can see all the different events. So like um, button one has got a press event, it's got a release event. Button two has a press event and, and a release event. And in this is pretty much the same for all of the buttons. All of them have different events. The, the first up and down arrow lets you control how many bytes you want to send to the controller. And these are the actual bytes of data we're going to send. So in other words, if we press button one, we're going to send three bytes of data and the bytes are going to equal 254, 108, 1. 254, 108, 1 is the command we use to activate a relay. Uh, 254 101 is the command that we use to deactivate a relay. And note that whenever I release these buttons, I don't want to do anything, so I set the values to zero. Similarly, uh, button three is configured as a momentary, so when I press it, I activate the relay, and when I release it, I deactivate the relay. And button four uh, was set up as a toggle function, so every time I activate or press button four on the key fob, I can actually toggle the, the relay by sending these commands. Now, all of these configuration settings are pretty much set up to, conf to control relay one as you saw in, in uh, the demo that we did. You can change the relay that you wanna talk to by changing these configuration settings. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that KFX actually works with uh, other hardware rather than just our products. You can send raw serial data out the port and, and send these bytes to any device that, that happens to accept uh, bytes of data. However, if you're working with our product line, you want to keep it on NCD API as this is the best way to, um, to send data to our controllers. Once you're finished with your settings, you just simply store the configuration in the controller and after a few moments, the controller will be configured for your settings and you're ready to take the module, the KFX module out of the Zigmo and put it back into your relay controller and try out your new settings. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll be glad to show you some other configuration uh, options if, if you need them. And uh, just feel free to send us an email or get in contact with us in some way and we'll be glad to help you out. Thank you.